so till now everybody we have covered what we have covered about the complementary angles and we were doing questions on the complementary angles okay so let's revise sine uh, complements which angle sine 90 minus theta is equal to who is going to tell cos theta yeah and uh, cos 90 minus theta is equal to sine theta uh, tan 90 minus theta is equal to cot theta cot 90 minus theta Cosec 90 minus theta. Sec theta. Sec 90 minus theta. Cosec theta. Yeah, very good. Okay. So you remember all the complementary angles. Okay. The main thing is that sine complement cos, uh, tan complement spot, and cosec complement sec. Okay. So they will be uh, if sine is here, sine 90 minus theta, then it will be cos, cos 90 minus theta, then it will be sine. Okay. So understood. Now we were representing like here it is written cos 15 degrees. So cos 15 degree can be represented as what can be written as 90 minus 75. So it will be sine 75 degree. Okay. In this way we have solved many of the questions and some two three two three more questions you will see and then we'll switch to other topic. Okay. Of trigonometry. Okay. So let's see the question here. If cos a minus b is equal to so the formula is already uh, means. It is already given that cos a minus b value is what? So cos a minus b value is equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. Now what you have to do, you have to find the value of cos 15 degree. Okay. So what will be the value of cos 15 degree? And you have to find out the value of sin 75 degree. Now cos 15 degree. It's written that cos a minus b is equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. So we can write 15 degree in the form of A and B. Okay, it is not written here that you have to choose 90 degree only. Okay, because if you take 90, so 90 minus 75 will be there, and we don't know the exact value of cos 70, uh, 75 degree. Yeah, or sine 75 degree. So we will choose as A as 45 degree and B as 30 degree. Okay, because we know the value of both sine uh, uh, sine 30 uh, 45 degree and sine 30 degree and cos 45 degree cos 30 degree so just copying the question so let's see so for first we are going to solve cos 15 degree so cos 15 degree can be written as cos in a in form of a minus b we are going to write because there is a number 90 minus yeah that only i said you can write it's not mentioned here that you have to use 90 only but if, if you are going to use 90 minus 75 Okay, so we don't know the value of, we know the value of sine 90 cos 90, but we don't know the value of sine 75 and cos 75. Okay, because this cos 90 minus 75 will be expanded into cos A cos B. That means cos 90 cos 75 plus sine 90 sine 75. So that's why I am using 45 degree minus 30 degree. Okay, let that actually I'm letting that A is equal to 45 degree. And B is equal to angle B is equal to 30 degree because we know both the angles value 45 degree also we know and 30 degree also we know. Okay, so that might that's why I'm using cos 45 degree minus 30 degree because there's nothing mentioned for the angle that exact angle. It only mentioned that cos A minus B is equal to cos A cos B. So you, whatever you are choosing A and B that A and B so it should be 15 degree. The subtraction should be 15 degree because first question is cos 15 degree. Any doubt here? How 45 and 30 degree I have chosen? Rushil, Rudronia, Shazan, any doubt? No doubt, man. Okay. So now we will be expanding this with a given formula. Okay. So it will be cos 45 degree, cos 30 degree, plus sine 45 degree, sine 30 degree. Okay. Now, cos 45 degree value is what? 1 by root 2 multiplied by cos 30 degree value is what? Root 3 by 2. Plus sine 45 degree is again 1 by root 2 multiplied by sine 30 degree value is 1 by 2. Okay. Am I right? Any doubt in the values? You have no, ma'am. Everybody, you have to remember all the values. Okay. Because if you don't remember the values, so it will be filled up for you. Okay. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to take the LCM and all. Okay. So here, first we will multiply. So it will be root 3 plus 2 root 2, 1. Okay. Now, if you take the LCM, so it will be 2 root 2, 1 plus root 3. Okay, so this is your answer. So cos 15 degree will be equal to 1 plus root 3 by 2 root 2. Okay, understood? Yes, sir. So now cos 15 now it is 1 plus root 3 by 2 root 2. Cos 15, it is mentioned here, na? the first question was cos 15 degree. We are calculating value for cos 15 degree. So I have written 15 degree into 45 minus 30. Yes, cos 15 degree, okay. And then, then I have expanded this from the given formula. That is, that was given in your question only itself. What? Okay. And after solving the value, I got the value. What is plus sine? Plus sine. For the second one you are asking? No, plus sine 45. See the formula here. This one. Yeah. It was given oh, in your okay, 
I have not done anything extra. Okay, I have put, I have just used this particular uh, expansion that was already given in a question. Okay, so according to that, and then when I when I expanded it, a part a minus b, then I have just put the value of every angle. Cos 45 degree, I put 30 degree. Sin 45, sin 30 degree, and after that, I just solved it. Okay. Now the second one is sine seventy five degree. Okay. Now we don't. Seventy five plus thirty, man. Yeah. So seventy five, you can write as uh, sine. But here you can see we don't have formula for sine. We have formula for cos. Okay. Cos and if you write here ninety uh, minus. No, sorry. Uh, yeah, ninety minus fifty. So that will give you seventy five. Yes, ma'am. Okay. But sine ninety minus fifteen will be what? Cos fifteen. Cos fifteen. Yes, ma'am. And cos fifteen we have already calculated here. That's okay. Right. I got it. 1 plus root 3 2 by root 2. Okay? Because okay. sine formula was not given. Okay? But the sine, yeah, it was given in your question for related with cos, how you have to expand. But we have to find out for sine 75 degree. Okay? So sine 75 degree, I have taken 90 minus 15 degrees. So I got cos 15 degree. Okay? And cos 15, we have already calculated. Okay? So you can directly take the value from here. Understood? Any doubt? Any doubt in the question? Rushil, Ludronian? Yeah. Um, I just joined right now. Can I explain again? Yeah, of course I can explain you. So this was the question, Sapia. You can see here the written question. If cos A minus B is equal to cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. This is given to you, Sapia. Okay? That cos A minus B, this formula will give you equal to cos A cos B sin A sin B. Now you have to find value for two things. One is cos 15 degree, sin 75 degree. The first one is cos 15 degree. Okay? So here it is not mentioned exactly that which angle you can choose. Okay? That is totally on you that... It is written only that you have to find out the value of cos 15 degree and a formula is given to you. Okay. So cos 15 degree can be written as cos 45 minus 30. Am I right? Because if you subtract 30 from 45, so you will get 15. Okay. So that will give you cos 15 degree only. And I have chosen 45 and 30 because 45 and 30 value we know. For this specific angle, we know the value of cos and sine both. Okay. So that, that's why I have chosen 45 and 30. How did you get the value of A and B? Cos 45 and 30. See, yeah. see, cos 45, I have given you the chart. Uh, we already know the value of 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, and 90 degree. All these angles value for sine, cos, and theta, cosec. Every uh, trigonometric ratios, we already know the value, okay? Just go through this chart. Uh, I have given you the chart. This chart, okay? Just memorize this chart, everybody. Okay, you have to learn this chart. It should be by heart. Okay. In fact, if you learn for sine cos tan, uh, sine cos tan only, na, then only the uh, cosec second tan are reversed. In fact, if you do a lot of questions also, na, so that value will get memorized in your mind. Okay. So you have to learn this value. Understood? In fact, it is an easy way. See, for sine 0 degree, it is 0. Okay. And the same value is for cos 90 degree also. If the sine 30 degree is 1 by 2, so the same value is for cos 60 degree. Okay. 1 by 2. And 1 by, uh, 1 by root 2 will be same for sine and cos 45 degree. Similarly, sine 60 degree value will be same for cos 30 degree value. Okay. Sine 90 degree value will be same for cos 0 degree. Okay. And for tan, it's 0, 1 by root 3, 1, root 3, infinity. Okay. And then you just have to reciprocal for cosec second part. Okay, everybody. So remember these values where I was. Okay. Now, we know the value for 45. And on Sapphire, you know that 45 minus 30 will give you 15. Okay. And it is written cos 15 degree. So I have chosen 45 and 30. So, I will expand this from this formula, from the given formula only, okay? That cos A minus B is equal to cos A, cos B plus sin A, sin. This is given, okay? This I am not assuming on this. I am not having any, okay? This is already given in your question. I have just, I am just going to put the values, okay? I have chosen A as 45 and B as 30 degree. Now, I am just going to expand this formula. So, I have got cos 45 degree, cos 30 degree. Plus sine 45 degree, sine 30 degree. Okay. And we know the value of cos 45 is 1 by root 2. Cos 30 degree is root 3 by 2. Sine 45 degree, 1 by root 2. And sine 30 degree, 1 by 2. Okay. Now, after getting all the values, I have just solved the values. And I have got cos 15 degree equal to 1 plus root 3, 2 root 2. Now, any doubts here? No, no. Okay. Now, the next question, if you see, now the next part in the same question, it is for sine 75 degree. But the <laughs> Yeah, okay. You show the questions before this one? No, uh, I have just started this question only. This is the first question I have started. Okay. So sine 75 degree. Okay. So si we are we have given the formula for only cos. Okay. So I am going to change for sine into cos. Okay. So sine is also complement for cos. Okay. 
So sine 90 minus 15 can be written as 75. Sine 75 can be written as sine 90 minus 15. And sine 90 minus 15 is equal to cos 15 degree. Okay. Cos 15 degree will give, we have already calculated the value of cos 15 degree, 1 plus root 3, 2 root 2. So we have got the value of cos 15 degree. Okay. 1 plus root 3, 2 root 2. Understood, Safiya? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now let's come to the next question. Okay. Here you just have to put the values only. Now example number 10. Okay. If you see here, let me copy. Okay. Okay. Now it's given sine 70 degree upon cos 20 degree plus cos 36 degree set 54 degree. Okay. So uh, what we can, be, we can do, we can use the complementary angles and we can solve this. Okay. We already know sine is complementary to cos. Okay. So sine 70 degree can be written as what? Sine 90 minus 20. Okay. And it will be cos 20 degree, okay? Plus cosec can be, cos, cosec is complementary sec. So cosec 36 degree can be written as, sorry, cosec 90, right? Yeah. Cosec 90 minus 54 degree, okay? And sec 54 degree. I'm not converting both because I will be cancelling one from the another, okay? Now here, again, you will be writing 2 cos 43 degree. And cosec can be written as sec 47, 42, okay? I, here I have written directly, okay? So here if you see tan 10 degree and tan 40 degree. So I can write it as tan 90 minus 80 degree and tan 40 degree can be written as 90 minus 50 degree and two more are tan 50 degree, 50 degree into tan 80 degree. Okay. So now if you feel going to expand here, so it will be cos 20 degree upon cos 20 degree plus sec 54 degree plus sec 54 degree. Okay minus 2 cos 43 degree uh, multiplied by you can write a sec as 1 by cos you can write 43 degree upon tan it will be written as cot cot 10 degree sorry cot 80 degree cot 50 degree tan 50 degree tan 80 degree okay and this also you have got in the reciprocal of tan so you can cancel it and this will give you 1 plus 1 minus 2 uh, 2 multiplied by 1 upon cot 80 will be cancelled by tan 80 and cot 50 will be cancelled by tan 80. So it will also give you 1, so which will be equal to 2 minus 2, which will be equal to 0. Any doubt? No. Okay, so you have to put the values of the angles, okay, and you have to choose that. See, ma'am, I left the class in between because ma'am, my internet was gone. So, you know, explain this question once again. The last part I understood. But the starting, what did you do? Yeah, the question, have you, are you able to see the question? Visible? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Sine 70 degree upon cos 20 degree. Okay. So we already know the sine is complementary, uh, complementary of cos angle. So we are going to change yes, any one of that. Okay. Either you change sine, either you change, uh, change cos. Okay. So I am changing the numerator value. Sine 90 minus sine 70 can be written as sine 90 minus 20. So that will give you cos 20. Okay. So cos 20, cos 20 will give you 1. So the first number will become 1. Okay. After putting the values. Now see the second one. Cosec 36, 36 degree. A cosec will complement sec. So cosec 36 degree can be written as what? 90 minus, 90 50 minus 30, 50 54. 54. Okay. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. Or either you can say it will be written as sec 54 degree. Okay. So it will give you sec 54. So sec 54, sec 54, sec 54. Again, it will be cancelled and it will give you 1. So 1 plus 1 will be 2. Now the last term minus is there. Okay. Now if you see cos 43 degree. Now cosec can cosec can be changed as second. Okay. Sec. So sec, it will be sec 50, 43 degree. Okay. This 43, 47, so it will be 43 degree. And sec will be 1 by cos. So cos 43 degree upon into 1 by cos 43, uh, cos 43. Again, it will be cancelled 2 into 1. And the denominator, if you see, there are 4 tan. Okay. Tan 10 degree, tan 40 degree, tan 50 degree, tan 80 degree. So 2 tan we are going to change into what and 2 tan we will be remaining okay and which 2 tan will be changing the 10 and 40 because that will give you the same cot value as 50 and 80 okay so tan 10 degree will give you cot 80 degree and tan 40 degree will give you cot 50 degree so again, 50, 50. Yeah. 50. Yeah, so again it will be cancelled because cot will give you 1 by tan 80 degree 1 by tan 50 degree so tan 50 tan 50 cancel tan 80 tan 80 cancel so it will give you 1 plus 1 minus 2 Okay, so 1 plus 1 will be 2, 2 minus 2 will be 0. Understood? Any doubt? In fact, if you are changing no, the cost value or the set value, then also you will get the same answer. Okay, but you don't have to change both at a time. Okay, change one. If you are going to change sign also and cost also, then ultimately the result will be the same. Okay, it will be just reciprocal. Okay, now we are good to go for the next topic. That is the fourth, the last topic of trigonometry. Uh, 
of this chapter that is trigonometric identities. Okay, and after this chapter, when we will finish this chapter, we are going to start the application of trigonometry. Uh, okay, where you'll be studying about height and distance. Okay, now trigonometric identities. Now, what are identities? Identities means some of the formula that we are going to study. Okay, okay. Now, the identities that you are going to study in this class, okay, till class 10, it is three main identities, and from these identities only, you are going to derive many more identities also. Okay, so the first identity is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. Okay, excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, no, I need to leave. yes, Shazan. No, I need to leave the class. You need to leave the class. Yes, okay, uh, if it is necessary, I'll not stop you. You can leave, just go through the video, okay, when it is uploaded. And wherever you're facing the doubt, okay, just clear those doubts, okay, Shazan. So, uh, take no, yes, ma'am. You were saying that you are leaving yes, the class. Ma I'm leaving, I'm leaving. What? It's not clear to me. Ma'am, wait, I'm leaving. I need to leave. It's still, it's not clear. No, I'm right? leaving the class. Bye, ma'am. Uh, tomorrow. Okay. I'm leaving. Okay. okay. Fine. So, there are three main identities that we are going to cover. Okay. So, first one is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to tan square theta. Oh, sorry. Uh, sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Okay. The first identity, the second identity is 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta. In fact, in this formula only, sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. If you are going to divide sine square theta upon sine square theta, then what you will get? Or uh, not sine square theta, you divide sine square theta by cos square theta. So, sine square theta upon cos square theta will give you tan square theta. Cos square theta upon cos square theta will give you 1. Okay, and 1 by cos square theta will give you sec square theta. So, from this identity only, you can derive 1 plus tan square theta and sec square theta. Similarly, you can derive the another identity that is cot square theta plus 1 is equal to cosec square theta. Cosec square theta. If you are going to uh, divide the first identity by sine uh, sin square theta, then you will get sine square theta upon sine square theta is 1 plus cos square theta upon sine square theta will give you cot square theta is equal to 1 by sine square theta will give you cos square theta. Okay, so from the first identity only, you can derive the other two identities. Okay, understood? So these three identities we are going to study today. Okay, and we are going to use, in fact, uh, in all your derivation, uh, you can say not derivation, there will be proof in your trigonometry. Okay, you have to prove various identities will be given in your question, prove that LHS is equal to RHS. Okay, so you will be using these identities. Okay, and from these identities, you can derive there are many more identities here. Okay. Now look at these this chart. Okay. Conversion of trigonometric ratios in terms of other ratios. Okay. So now it is written here that sine can be how you can write sine in terms of sine. Obviously, sine can be written in terms of sine as sine only. Okay. But if you want to write sine in terms of cos, okay, like sine is there, but you have to change the sine in terms of cos. So how can you write the first identity that you have seen here? Sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. One from this you can derive the formula that sine is equal to root one minus cos square theta. Okay, you can see here. Similarly, tan theta. In terms of tan theta, if you want to write sine theta, tan upon root one plus tan square theta. Okay, cot square theta. In terms of cot, if you want to write the formula one plus root one plus cot square theta. In fact, from all these identity only we are deriving the three identities that I have told you. From these three identities only, we are deriving these formula. Okay. Now you can use tan. If you see here, tan in the first equation only. Okay. Sign is there. You don't use first one. Last one. The third one. Okay. Cosec can be written as what? 1 by sine square theta. Okay. And what can be written as 1 by tan square theta. So from that, if you will derive here the formula. Okay. And uh, let me show you. What can be the third identity? That is cot square theta plus 1 is equal to cosec square theta. Now, cot square theta can be written as 1 upon tan square theta plus 1 and sine cosec can be written as 1 by sine square theta. Okay. Now, here if you take the LCM, so what it will be? Tan square theta. So, 1 plus tan square theta is equal to 1 by sine square theta. Now, you should do the reciprocal. Okay. On both the sides. So, sine square theta will be equal to what? Tan square theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. Now, we just need sine theta. So, sine theta can be written as root tan square theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. Okay, this is the, have you understood the formula? From these formulas only, we have derived these formulas. Okay, the new ones. Okay, so the main formulas are your sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta and cot square theta plus 1 is equal to cos square theta. Understood? In terms of cot, if you want to write, so 1 root 1 plus cot, cot square theta. From this only, if you see here, same. 
we will not change the cot and only change the sine square theta. Okay, so what it will be? Sine square theta, you need to bring sine square theta on this side and then it will be 1 by root cot square theta plus 1 from the same identity. Okay, similarly for sec theta, root sec square theta minus 1 upon sec theta. And we already know that sine is the inverse of cosec, so 1 by cosec square theta. Okay, and for all the identities, okay, you have the conversion. Okay. Like cos square theta, similarly, cos square theta can be written as from the first identity root 1 minus sin square theta. Okay. And from tan theta, 1 by root 1 plus tan square theta. Or cot theta, cot theta, root 1 plus cot square theta. Okay. Any doubt in this identity chart? If you are going to learn the complete chart, that is well and good. Okay. And if you learn the three main identities and the basic formulas like sin is the inverse of cosec, cos is the inverse of sec. Okay. That will also the best okay but whenever it is need uh, needed in proving so you have to derive there then and there okay any doubt just look at this chart carefully if you are facing any issue in any of the derivation that how cot can be represented as uh, one upon root six square theta minus one so you may ask okay just look at this chart everybody rudronia roshan satya any doubt anywhere you will no. find all the no yeah, no, no doubts okay you will find all the notes in your uh Alumpil app also and in your student location area also okay so now let's see some of the question based on these. Okay. So the first question that you see here, express the ratios cos A, tan A and sec A in terms of sin A. Okay. So how can you represent the ratio cos A, tan A and sec A in terms of sin A? You have to represent all the three in terms of sin. Okay. So cos, we already know the identity related to cos and sin. That is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So you have to write cos A in terms of sin. So, cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sine square theta and cos theta will be equal to 2, 1 minus sine square theta. Okay. So, this is how you are going to write. Okay. Now, if you see the second word, it is tan. So, tan. tan uh, you have to write tan in terms of sine. Okay. So, how we are going to write? We already know that tan can be written as what? Sine by cos? Yes or no? Tan can be written as sine A upon cos A. Okay, and you have to write in terms of only sine. Okay, so sine A upon cos can be written as 1 minus sine square A. Okay, write A here also. Okay, similar so third one is what? Sec A. Sec A can be written as 1 by cos A. Okay, so 1 by cos A. So it will be 1 upon, how can you write cos in terms of sine? 1 minus sine square A. Okay, so this is how you are going to change change for any in terms if you have to write any angle in terms of any okay from the main equation you can derive the three uh, equations that i told you identity is in fact okay and apart from that time tan you know sine by cos what is cos by sine sec is one by cos so using these okay understood now let's see wait okay how uh, come not uh, okay till then we are doing this just uh, give me one minute so now let's see some more questions here. Yeah. The first one is prove that cot A plus tan A. Okay. Prove that cot A plus tan A is equal to sec A cosec A. Okay. Now you can see you have to prove cot A plus tan A into sec A cosec A. How can we do that? See, sec A cosec A. Cot can be written as one by, uh, sorry, cot can be written as cos A upon sin A. Cos A upon sin A plus, I'm taking LHS. Whenever it is proved, Take LHS and after that you can take RHS. Okay. And tan A can be written as sin A upon cos A. Okay. Now, obviously, taking LCM, sin A cos A, cos square A plus sin square A. So, we already know from the identity that sin square A plus cos square A is equal to 1. Okay. So, it will be equal to 1 upon sin A upon cos A. Okay. Now, 1 by sin A can be written as you can write separately sin A just for your. Easy. 1 upon sin A can be written as cosec A, cosec A, and 1 upon cos A can be written as sec A, okay? So, which is equal to sec A upon, uh, sorry, cosec A, okay? Is equal to RHS, yes? Yeah, sec A upon cosec A, okay? Any doubt? Any doubt, anybody? And whenever you are proving, just in your mind, one or two step, you just uh, go through that one, one or two step in mind also, okay? Because sometimes it happens directly, you just put that there, there's a like, in your step, they work like that, okay? So try to do one or two steps directly in your mind and then write down. Okay. Here I've written cot A. Okay, I can write cot A on cos A by sin A and this. Okay. So I already know when I'm going to take LCM, I will take cos square A plus sin square A that will be equal to one. Okay. Now let's see 
I can see another question. Now in this section, you will generally find the proof. Okay. Now here, if you can see the proof is what? Proof the metric identities. Now, root cos A minus 1 upon cos A plus 1, cos A, uh, cos A K plus 1, cos A K minus 1 is equal to 2 sec A. Okay. So now you have to prove the identity. Okay. This means that how you are going to. Anybody, any hint how we are going to do this? First, we will be taking LHS. And in LHS, you can see what is written here. Right, okay. So LHS is equal to cosec A minus 1 upon cosec A plus 1 plus cosec A plus 1 cosec A minus 1. Okay. Now we have to prove it to 2 sec A. So let's first simplify it. Okay. So when you are going to simplify this, so uh, let's take the LCM here. Okay. So if you are going to take the LCM, so it will be everything is in root cos A plus 1 cosec actually. It's not cos cosec A plus 1 and the next bracket it is cosec A minus 1. Okay. I will write separate bracket after that I will go cosec A minus 1. Okay. Now now in the cosec A minus 1. Mama, how are you multiplying them both in the denominator? No, I'm just taking the LCM. See, if you're going to add both the uh, numbers like see sim Simply, if I say, if I'm adding 1 plus 2 upon 1 by 3, so how you're going to take? You're going to take the LCM, 6, yeah, 3 plus 2, like this, you're going to add or not? The same thing I'm doing here. I am I have taken the LCM, root cosec A plus 1 in one root and the other is cosec A minus 1, okay? So, if you see here the first term, cosec A plus 1 is there, so you have to multiply it with cosec A minus 1, okay? That, that's, that's what I have written. Okay? Now, cosec A plus 1, okay? Now we are going to simplify this only. Okay, you can see here in the denominator, this will be, uh, you can put a whole root above that and it is what? Cosec A plus 1 and cosec A minus 1. So A plus B, A minus B. Okay, so it can be written as A square minus B square. So you can write it. Okay, now in the I don't understand how you took the LCM. C sub here. Okay, now, okay, it's root cosec A minus 1 upon root, uh, upon cosec A plus 1. Okay, Sophia. Okay, plus. Okay, I'll show you here uh, where I have already solved it. So it will be more clear. Okay, see here. Is it visible here properly? See, Sophia. You just root me the denominator. Now, look at the denominator. Me, the first term is Sophia. Usme likha hua denominator me cosec a plus one. And in the second term, it is written cosec a minus one. Okay, so both are different terms. So when I'm taking LCM, so I will take both the terms. Cosec a plus one and cosec a minus one. You see here cosec a plus 1 and cosec a minus 1. Okay. Now, when I have taken the LCM, so in if the first term, pehle wale term ko dekho, upar mein to cosec a minus 1 hai, when I likha root mein cosec a minus 1, but denominator mein cosec a plus 1 hai, so I will be multiplying with the other term, that is cosec a minus 1. That's what I have done, cosec a minus 1. And the second one also, cosec a plus 1 multiplied by cosec a plus 1. Now, have you understood? Yeah. Understood? Yeah, clear picture hai, theek hai? Uske baad the second step, see, in the denominator, you can put all the term inside one root. So it is a, a plus b, a minus b. It is in the form of a plus b, a minus b. So a plus b, a minus b will give you a square minus b square. So I have written root a square minus b square. Okay, cosec square a minus 1. And here, uh, in the numerator, if you see, both the term, the first term is cosec a minus 1, cosec a minus 1. So in, it is whole square. If you put the root and then put two brackets if you see. So cosec a minus 1, cosec a minus 1 inside the root. Okay. I'll do it here. Okay. I can write it here as one root. Okay. And I can write cosec a minus 1 and again cosec a. Cosec a minus 1. Okay. Plus one root cosec a plus 1 and cosec a plus 1. Okay. Now if I solve this, so what it will be? In the numerator it is whole square. Cosec A minus 1 whole square. Similarly, here also it is cosec A plus 1 whole square. Okay. And in the denominator, it is already called cosec square A minus 1. So, we can remove the root from the numerator. So, it will be cosec A minus 1 plus cosec A plus 1. Okay. Cosec A plus 1. Okay. Because it was square. Okay. So, that's why I was able to remove the roots. Okay. Now, if you see cosec square a minus 1. If you use the identity, the first uh, the 1 plus cot square a is equal to cosec square a. If you remember the identity, 1 plus cot square a, there is the identity of 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta. So from here, if you see, so 
वन माइनस कोसेक स्क्वायर थीटा सॉरी कोसेक स्क्वायर थीटा माइनस वन विल बी इक्वल टू सो कॉट स्क्वायर थीटा इज इक्वल टू कोसेक स्क्वायर थीटा माइनस वन ओके सो टेक द रूल सो आई विल डायरेक्टली पुट द वैल्यू हियर ओके व्हाट कॉट कॉट ए ओके अंडरस्टूड एनी डाउट हियर हाउ हैव रिटन कॉट ए नाउ ओके Now if we expand the above one, cosec a minus one plus cosec a plus one. Okay, so this one one will cancel, and you have two cosec a, two cosec a upon cot a. Okay, now uh, what what we have to prove? Two sec a we have to prove. Two sec a now. So you can write cosec a as what? Cosec a can be written as sine a, and cot a can be written as uh, okay sine a. Sorry. Okay. Cot a is in the denominator. If I write directly here, so cot a is in the denominator. So I can write cos a upon sine. How did you write sine? How I have written sine? See, cos a can be written as what? Here, if you see here, so you already know that cos a can be written as one upon sine. Okay, Sapia. And cot a can be written as cos a upon sine. Any doubt in this? So that's what I have written. Instead of cosec a, I have changed cosec into one by sine. So two upon sine a and cot a, I have written cos a upon sine a. Okay. Now the sine will be cancelled from sine, so you'll get two upon cos a, which will be equal to two sec a because cos a one upon sec a. Okay. Still any doubt, Sapia? Still explain. Still explain again. No. Okay. So after taking the LCM and solving till here, okay. See cos x square a minus one. I can write as cot a root cot a. In fact, cot square a. So from that I have got cot a. And if you even open this cos a minus one plus cos a plus one, so one one will be cancelled. You will get two cos a upon cot a. And cos a can be written as one by sine. And cot can be written as cos a upon sine a. From there we can cancel the sine sine, and we have got two upon cos a. And one upon cos a is equal to second. So two second. Okay. Proving and all, you have to go through all the questions and practice the various question. Okay. Then only uh, proving can be uh, means just looking at the question, you will understand that what the, what will be the next step, what you have to do, which identity you have to use uh, instead of which value you have to put which other value. Okay. And it's not necessary that proving can be done in one single way only. Okay. Somebody can apply the different way, the different identities. So it is perfectly okay. Okay. But you have to practice a lot. The more you practice. The more you will learn, and you just by looking at the question, you will know all the steps. Okay, trigonometry means practice. Okay, let's see one more question. Now here it is given sine a upon cos a. Okay, sine a upon cos cos a. The first term here, two terms are there in LHS. The first term is sine a plus cos a upon sine a minus cos a plus sine a minus cos a upon sine a plus cos a is equal to two sine square a minus cos square a. So as it is a proof, we are going to choose one of the side that is LHS. Obviously, we are going to choose LHS. Now, if you take the LCM here, see on taking the LCM, you will find that S sine a minus cos a upon sine a plus b, a plus b, a minus b form will be there. Okay. So a, I'm writing complete. Nobody get confused. So I'm writing all the steps here. Sine a plus cos a. Okay. This is in the form of a plus b, a minus b. Okay. So you can directly write sine square a, ah, uh, sine square a minus cos square a. Okay. Now. If I'm taking the LCM here, so what will be the in the you know, uh, numerator? Sine a plus cos a. Okay. Again, it will be multiplied by sine a plus cos a. Okay. Plus sine a minus cos a. Sine a minus cos a. Okay. Now you can see in the numerator, both terms are same, so it will be sine a plus cos a whole square plus sine a minus cos a whole square. Okay. Upon a plus b, a minus b, so it will be sine square a minus cos square a. Okay, everybody, any doubt? Okay, now we are going to expand the above one. Okay, it will expand it a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square formula. So it will be sine square a, sine square a plus cos square a plus two ab. So two sine a cos a. Okay, and plus sine square a. Plus cos square a minus two ab because this time here in the between it is sine minus is there so sine a cos a okay in the denominator it will be again sine square a minus cos square a okay now here it will see uh, plus and minus so this will this term will be cancelled and you will get two sine square a okay understood so you will get either you can write directly sine square cos square a directly as one okay there is no need to uh, you can directly or you can Do one step, one more step. That sine square a plus cos square a. Okay, in this way, upon sine square a minus cos square a. Okay, 
now we already know that sin a plus cos square a is equal to 1. So it will be 2 upon sin square a minus cos square a. What we have to prove? See, 2 sin square a minus cos square a. That we have got. Any doubt? Anybody any doubt? No. Um, can you show the question once again? I'll show you here that will be perfect. Yeah. Sin a plus cos a upon sin a minus a. Here I have not done anything extra. I just taken the LCM and where I have got sin square a plus cos square a, I have used the identity that sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1. So I have just cancelled the term and I have written 1. Okay. Sometimes in the question you will find written 1. Okay. And to solve the question, you are going to put any suitable identity. That instead of 1, you are going to put sin square a, cos square a to cancel the terms. Or you can use uh, 1 if they equal to cos square a minus cot square a. Okay. So it totally depends on the question, what type of question is asked, what you have to prove, you have to relate, what is given, how you are going to bring those uh, identities, uh, automated identities that are on the RHS, okay? So you have to think about the steps, okay? And this thinking will come from the practice. If you think that a first time uthar you are didn't say ajay, so kisi ke saath nahi hota, okay? Nobody can get it all, okay? Here, right now you are getting all the easy question, but when you keep on doing trigonometry at the advanced level, that is 11, 12, you need to practice and when, once you are practiced too much, then you are not going to face any issue improving or anything. So I will end the class here. Okay, any doubt? Shall I end uh, it? Mama, I have doubts from the A2.2 assignment. A2.2. Okay, uh, just wait a bit. A2.2 only, na, you said? Uh, question number, Sophia? And question number 1, 2, and 13, but I think they are all related to the same topic. Uh, 2.1, you are saying, two, it's a 2.2. 2.2. 2.2, you are facing a problem in question number 1, 2, and 13. Okay, question number one. Uh, I think this is from the example only. Okay. I'll show you here. Two point. Yeah, this was the question, I think. Yes, Sophia? In right angle triangle ABC, right angle at B, AB is equal to 5 centimeter and angle ACD is equal to 30 degree. Am I right? This is your question? Yeah. Determine the length of the side PC and AC. Okay, now Sophia, I will see here what it is written here. Uh, okay, wait, I have been displayed here. I'll have to display this page. Now, see here the question. This is your same question, okay? Uh, Ma'am, which topic is this? This is from the example, okay? Okay. Uh, for just a minute. Uh, Ma'am, if you uh, if it, if you want to uh, close the recording, you can do. Uh, Sophia has some doubt. I'm just clearing that. Okay, Sophia. So, uh, this is your question in right angle triangle. First of all, in a right angle triangle, ABC. So, you draw a triangle, ABC. Okay, A, B, C. Now you have to see that which is at right angle, right angle at B. So B is right angle. A, B is given as 5 centimeter. A, B is 5 centimeter. And angle A, C, B is 30 degree. That is angle C is 30 degree. Okay, so now what you have to do is determine the length of side B, C, B, C and A, C. Okay, now angle C is given to you, Safiya. So if angle C is given to you, so I think if you use sine, sine 30 degree, then you can find out the value of A, C. How? See, sine 30 degree is what? See, I have done it here also. Okay, I have, I have explained this question actually. Okay, so uh, 30 degree. You can see here 30 degree. Here I have done with tan 30 degree. In fact, with sine 30 degree also you can do. I have shown both the way. Sine 30 degree if you will do, so it will be perpendicular by hypo. That is, that, that means AC. AC by AB. Sorry, uh, AB by AC. Okay, so AB by AC will give you, AB value is already given. AC value is not given, hypotenuse. So, 5 by h, okay? And sine 30 degree value we already know. That is 1 by 2, okay? So, h value will be what? h value will be equal to 5 into 2, that is 10. So, we have got the value of ac as 10. ac value we have got as 10, okay? This we got as 10, 10 centimeter. Now, you have already got the hypotenuse. So, you can just take out the value of bc. The PC value of bc will be what? Root 10 square minus 5 square. So, 10 will be 100 minus 5. 5 will be giving you what? 25. So, you will get 75 which can be written as 25 into 3, 5 root 3. Okay. So, you have got the value of all the three sides. Any doubt here, Sapya? No doubt. Okay. What you have to do? One angle is given, Sapya. Okay. So, you have to choose smartly. See, AB is given. So, uh, either you can use sine because sine, if you use sine 30 degree, then what will be this? What will be sine 30 degree is equal to what? AB upon AC. Perpendicular upon, upon hypo. So, either you can use sine 30 degree. So, from that, if you use sine 30 degree, sine 30 degree value already know. 5 is given. Only AC will be not known. So, from there, you can find out the value of AC. Or either you can use tan 30 degree. 
in if you use tan 30 degree and tan 30 degree is equal to perpendicular upon base so it will be equal to ab by bc again tan 30 value you already know 1 upon root 3 ab is already known only bc will be missing so you can find out the value of bc you will find out the value of bc from there you can find out the value of ac so it totally depends which which you are going to choose either you are going to choose sine either cos you cannot choose because cos will be equal to base upon hypo and base is also not known for 30 degree and hypo is also not known for 30 degree understood sapia yeah okay and similarly you are going to solve for example number 12 also that is the question number 12 that uh, question number 2 in your assignment uh, a 2.2 this is question number 2 in the following figure triangle p2r is right angle at q pq is equal to 3 centimeter pr is equal to 6 centimeter determine angle now you have to determine the angle the same thing you are going to do angle r for angle r which will use pq and pr sine if you write uh, sine r sine r will be equal to 3 by 6 that is 1 by 2 so for which angle you are going to get 1 by 2 you are going to get 1 by 2 for sine 30 degree so sine 30 degree is equal to sine uh, sine, uh, sine 30 degree is equal to sine r so r will be equal to 30 degree understood sapia okay because, see uh, here i can do okay now this is this is the triangle 3 and 6 3 and 6 a b I don't know which what was mentioned. P Q R was mentioned. P Q R was mentioned. Three and six. And this angle, if you have to find out, so this angle, if you need to find out this angle, so you can write sine R is equal to three by six. Okay, perpendicular upon hypo. Understood? Now three by six can be written as one by two. Sine R is equal to one by two. Now we know that one by two is the value of sine thirty degree. So R will be equal to on comparing both sides. So R will be equal to 30 degree okay so you have got the value of angle uh, p r q now what else you have to determine the angle q p r q p r you just have to minus from uh, you already got that angle q is 90 degree angle r is 30 degree so angle p will be what 90, 60 degree okay 180 minus 90 minus 30 from there you can get because angle all the triangle uh, sum will be 180 degree so 180 degree is equal to angle uh, angle p plus angle q plus angle r Okay, so angle P will be equal, uh, sorry, angle P will be equal to 180 minus 90 minus 30 degree. So it will be equal to 60 degree. Okay, any doubts, Sophia? No, no. Okay. And you to uh, question number uh, 13, you were saying, no? Question number 13 is what? In question number 13, it is written that in the following figure, that is same uh, PQR, right angle at Q, PQ. Now this time PQ again, PQ is given, uh, the values are different. PQ is 5 centimeter, PR is 10 centimeter. And the same question is there. The question is same, Sapia. Question number 13 is same as this question. Question example number 12 that you see. It is exactly the same thing, okay? You just have to find out. The same way you are going to do this, okay? Sapia, you can come.